Hi again, just going to go for a couple of uh, triggers. I'm not sure too many people mess around with this, uh, understand it, or uh, even use the feature. Uh, it's actually a very good feature for data logging. Um, it's very good for tuners, uh, especially if you're uh, asking for certain boost targets and you want to make sure you're not overshooting that target. Um, you know, certainly not by a long shot. Um, as you can see, we've got the live data on there. We got it in graph form. Uh, we currently set x axis to uh, times one, which is standard measurement. Um, we're going to hit the settings button. So, what we can do with this settings button is we can check the live data that we want to uh, uh, adjust or record. So, charge air pressure actual value. Um, we can actually set an alarm on this. Um, so today's atmospheric pressure is, uh, you know, a thousand millibar. Um, if we want to check for under boost um, and we're on full boost, we can obviously set it to a minimum value. Um, if we're looking for over boost uh, and we know this vehicle is a, a, a maximum um, specified of half a bar, um, we we can obviously put a max in there. Um, obviously taking spike into consideration uh, of 0.6 of a bar for example um, you got to bear in mind you need to take into consideration the atmospheric pressure and whether whether the sensor is relative or it's not relative um, what you can do with this so say relative with atmospheric pressure um, if we get 0.6 of a bar we want the alarm to sound um, because we want to know if we're getting over boost. We can set the buzzer for that. So now we've set the buzzer for a min and a max on charge air pressure, actual value, um, which is a good bit of kit. To move it further on, if we hit record and we want to start recording data when, uh, when a certain point is reached, this is where we can do it. So we can hit a trigger type. So do we want to trigger it manually? So we start recording when we press the button we can DTC um, if it logs under boost we can have it start and recording as it logs the uh, under boost DTC check mode so this uh, DTC check mode is where the ECU is detecting a problem uh, it can see there's over boost and the DTC check mode um, is occurring just before the DTC is set if we start this recording when the DTC is set, it's already in limp mode and we're not going to record any data that is useful to us. If we hit DTC check mode, it's going to start recording the data of where the boost is, as an example, before the DTC is set. Really good bit of kit um, to start data logging. Um, so DTC check mode, because we want to see where the data is just before it goes into limp mode. Duration, how long do we want to record it? Uh, on this system, uh, you won't need to record it any more than 60 seconds because if you keep your foot down, the DTC will trigger just after the DTC check mode. Um, so you can record it for 30 seconds to see where you are. 60 seconds. Trigger point. What do you want? What ha what do you want to happen on the trigger point? At this point, do you want it to begin? Do you want it to tone down, or do you want it to end the recording? Um, so you could have when the DTC comes on. I want it to end the recording because all the data after that bears no relevance to what I'm doing. So there's just a bit of extra information on there. A lot of people don't use it. A lot of people should be using it. Um, so yeah. Cheers. Bye.